Hello view lovers, welcome to Prime TV. It is a very common use case to customize the styling of a certain uh, Prime View component. So in this tutorial we will try to tackle that. For globally, let's say, you, you can switch between Prime View themes like the material bootstrap, you know, the Lara, that applies the styles to all the components, such as, I mean, we'll be using the panel component as a case study. Um, if you create a theme with the theme designer, your all of the panels that you use will be the same. But in this tutorial, we'll try to customize it a certain panel component. So let's try to, for example, try to add, an, add another one, other panel, let's say. Okay, this is the other panel. So this is the one that we will be changing. So to give it a certain scope, I will just name it the My Panel, like here, here. And I have all my classes here that I can use. For example, the header style class is called P Panel Header. The content is P Panel Content. So, and I would like to give this colors using the Prime View themes exported CSS colors, these ones and more like these ones as well so let's try to do it okay i want the header to be the primary color in the content border as well so my panel header background color should be primary color and we also have the title text p panel title that's inside header so we can use this one as well we can just uh, i think primary color text was it so that's the foreground color if the background is the primary color. Primary color text. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, now let's try to run this. And here comes the issue that you're not seeing anything. So this is because the default is by default in view CLI, CSS is scoped. So if you remove this, it should give you an idea. Let's try to Okay, now you have the borders as well. So, but the problem is this applies to, this becomes like a global um, CSS in your application. So we, we prefer the best practice is to have scoped, but that kills the implementation because it doesn't work because um, the view uses CSS attributes, sorry, HTML attributes to do to emulate the shadow DOM by default. So in this case, VDeep comes to the rescue. This is a feature of uh, View 3. In View 2, it was, uh, I think, it's a different syntax, but we can check it as well. But this applies to the View 3, by the way. So my panel, and I can just move these to here. Okay, now inside the VD it means the your your components. This CSS makes sure that this only applies to your components, and it makes sure that these classes applies to your elements whether they are scoped or not. So, if you change the theme, for example, like uh, are blue, for example, your panels may change. But the nice thing is that your um, the other panel is not affected. So that's the uh, preferred approach here. Um, in view two, as I mentioned, the syntax is different, but it's a story for another day. Uh, 
most of the Prime View users are uh, using it with Prime, uh, using it with version three of View. So the VDIP is the solution to, in case you would like to customize a certain specific um, Prime View component. So that's it for now, and see you on the next tutorial. Thank you very much.